been driving for 20 days. The truck started in Los Angeles, and then they moved the truck to Sacramento, up to Truckee, and back across to San Francisco, all the way up to the Oregon border, and as far south as Bakersfield, Redwood National Forest yesterday. Since this started, we put on roughly 11,000 miles. We started off with a full tank of diesel exhaust fluid, which is DEF, and the SCR is operating under full capacity. And as the DEF drops, you get closer to empty, you start getting visual alarms in the cab, and you get auditory alarms to remind you put fluid in. Well, we ignored them, and we let it go to empty. Uh, no, there is no DEF in the, in the tank. It is empty. How's the truck riding right now? Just, just fine for 55 mile an hour. What do we do now? So we added, uh, that's our thinking, water to the tank. As you can see, all the lights are off. And also, the DEF tank indicates that it's completely full of DEF. Okay, we're heading back to Sacramento, getting on to Interstate 80, uh, running through the gears, having no problem with acceleration. We are running this truck for the last 20 days solely on H2O. We have not had a bit of DEF in the truck. No problems whatsoever. There's nothing that's affecting um, how this truck runs. The DEF fluid level is at zero percent, and it will not start. Okay, I'm going to put water in the dry DEF tank, and then I'm going to try starting the truck again to see if I can clear the message that is currently reading. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start the truck now and see if the error message has cleared. And right now, the DEF fluid level says 24 percent, so the error message stating that I could not restart it without adding more DEF has cleared. So I guess we're good to go. If you think back to the days when you saw smoke coming out of the back of the vehicles, those are typically pre-1988 pre vehicles. And those were emitting at about a 10 or 11 gram per brake horsepower hour. In the 1990s, we started cutting that down. Mid-90s, we're at about five. By the end of the 90s, coming into 2000, we were at about two to one. And now at 2010, we're at 0.2. So we've been dropping by about an order of magnitude per decade. If we put in place a technology that sends us back to 90s or prior emissions from trucks, we are putting ourselves on a road that increases our costs and our health impacts, and that is not something we're ready to do.